Hi friends, Green Rubber The Revolution of the Rubber Recycling Business. Dedicated to offering high-tech solutions for environmental and social problems, a privately owned Malaysian conglomerate, Petra Group, aimed to innovate the recycling of rubber waste. Since the 1990s, the group had tried to transform rubber waste using its patented D-Link technology to produce reusable rubber, which it branded, as green rubber. Despite failing to make a sound industrial impact with the technology in the mid-1990s, the company wanted to reintroduce the eco-friendly solution in the new millennium. Through its subsidiary, Green Rubber Global GRG, the group progressively explored partnerships with those wanted to be part of increasing demand for environmentally friendly products. In 2007 GRG opened the first U.S.-based rubber recycling plant in New Mexico, with the support of the state government. Vinod Sethar, the founder and chief executive of GRG and Petra Group, envisages green rubber becoming a global trademark for most rubber-based products, the way Intel inside has four computers. However, there was industrial skepticism not only about the cost efficiency of D-Link technology, but also the quality of green rubber, partly due to GRG's failure in the market a decade before. Would GRG's past failure be a stumbling block for its future business development? Would increased global expectations for corporate environmental and social responsibility be the stepping stone to a lucrative success? Because green claims had been overexploited by marketers in recent years, there was also cynicism about commercial corporations selling green products. How could GRG successfully run a business driven by commercial principles that also aimed to sustain environmental and social progress? And how will GRG benefit from its connection with the parent company? The CasaSolution.com is the number one destination for getting the case study and analyzed. Thanks for watching this video.